。潜水的人心潮澎湃，热血流过动脉，别让梦想带着遗憾醒来。总有人被世界淘汰，总有人被记载，在这尔虞我诈的舞台，听过。Guazinian, it's your turn. Why don't you tell us all about your dream? This is my dream: to surpass Li Bantang, become Steve Jobs. Well, almost everyone in this business aspires to be just like Steve Jobs. I meant people like Steve Jobs, and James Watt. And Thomas Edison. I meant people who could really change the world. People who will leave a legacy in the history of technological development. I believe that innovations on the internet are in place to change the way people communicate. Magic Crystal was born for that exact purpose. If I give up this time, my life will be meaningless. No matter how much you oppose the idea, I must have entire control of Magic Crystal. I will not bow my head to support capitalism. Did you all hear what he said? Guazinian. Would like to be a great man. <laughs> This mist. <sighs> What on earth does Bantang mean? Huh? Hmm. Hey. What on earth does Bantang mean? Huh? He said, "What on earth does Bantang mean?" Well, I don't really know about that. If I knew, I would have told you. I can't keep secrets from you. No more red. Let's drink white. Don't you think that Bantang's been acting weird lately? I've heard people say that he usually leaves the office for half a day. No one knows where he goes and what he's up to. If it were the three of you. I think you have a mistress for someone like Bantang. <laughs> a mistress would help. <sighs> well, it looks like we should pay attention. We need to find out what Bantang's been up to. The five of us used to think like one person. Now we're suspicious, all because of one person. This is tragic. Tragic. Your food is ready. Okay, thank you. Wendy, bring it to them while it's still warm. Okay. We'll chat a little more with a bottle of wine. We're pretty much done eating. Um, are we still drinking wine? We can drink while we talk. But they're working late. We shouldn't be drinking. Don't do it. Back then, if Goshinen asks me why you're not back yet, I'll tell him that you're discussing the sale of Magic Crystal. Wait, wait, 
That's not what we meant. That's not what we meant. No hurry, no hurry. Take a seat. We'll leave together. <sighs> There's no point in us talking, you know. I'll be honest with you. Your shares are too few to be able to sell them independently. I do know that you think I didn't even work that hard to earn my 5% like you all did. But you know that I didn't steal them. I tried to return it to Guashin Yen on several occasions. But he wouldn't take them back. I hope you'll discuss things that will benefit Magic Crystal. Instead of me. That's a misunderstanding. That's not what we meant. We're all in this together. We think you have more experience in dealing with shares than us. Frankly, I'd like to hear, under these circumstances, what your suggestions are. Ready yet? I told Guashin Yen already that Magic Crystal's market price is at its peak. And if it misses this chance, its value might decrease quite rapidly. He might think that I'm an alarmist and that I intend to start a coup. What's strange is that all of us had already talked about this before, but none of you told him about it. But in the end, it looks like I encouraged you. I'll look bad either way. Wendy, I admit that we did have reservations about you. We're sorry. It seems that Guo Zinyan giving you the 5% shares was the correct move. However, there is a good reason why we can't discuss certain things with Guo Zinyan anymore. See, Guo Zinyan is the heart and soul of Magic Crystal, and that's the reason we've been counting on him to push the company forward. But then... But then you had to suffer a little bit. Anyway, you have our assurance that from this moment on, we will be one family, because we are all in this together. We would also like you to give us an assurance that's selling magic crystals for the best. <sighs> well, theoretically, we'll have a second round of financing and a third round of financing. But then who would dare invest in us? Based on magic crystals' current state, is it likely that there will be a significant increase in their users? Can it have more than 200 million? Or will it even be able to develop a brand new function that will work with banks and online banking modules so it can become an e-bank? We can also produce airplanes. There's no point. Of course there's always a point. If you want financing, tell a story about why you need the money and the profit that it can bring. There's no financing without a good story. But how come the Rufus financing went through so quickly? That's because back then, there was no voice messaging app yet that could be used. Now, downloads of encrypted chat has surpassed Magic Crystal. But that's unfair. They just copied us. If you say that, the investors will ask why you haven't sued them. Then there's no story anymore. There's just no point in talking about this. Encrypted chat will receive financing from Rofis. 
in amounts larger than what Magic Crystal got. I also heard that Li Bentang plans to take over Magic Crystal's shares from Rofis. There might be huge technological changes at Killen, and as of now, it's only Li Bentang who really knows what changes will happen to Magic Crystal. It seems we're already surrounded on all sides. Do I still need to elaborate? If we don't sell, we'll die. The great Guazin Yin is really unwise at this crucial moment. I sincerely hope you can. On behalf of us three. Four of us, including Luca. Okay, the four of us. Help us out of this dilemma. From now on, you'll tell the story of Magic Crystal. Okay. You can't skip meals just because you're working on an app. Come on, eat this while it's still hot. I'm okay. How are you? Hmm? I heard that someone wants to sell you. I won't allow it. <laughs> hey, what? that's great! Uh, but, why did you hit me? Who is that woman? Huh? Well, this is what Boss did. Huh? Uh, this is the new function he developed. It can convert written words into speech. This is just the standard tone. <sighs> oh. Hey, boss. Can I ask you a favor? What? Could you two not work late tonight? No way. We need to make up for lost time. We wasted the past two weeks. I'm planning to finish a voice message upgrade in one month. <sighs> Go home and take a rest now. I don't need you, okay? Ow. Are you sure that you'll be working here tonight, instead of sleeping at home? Why are you in a hurry? I'm very sure that he'll have plenty of time to sleep with you. Guo Xinyan! <laughs> no wonder you got divorced. You deserve to be single for life! <laughs> Fine. Okay. What a waste of effort to deliver food for you. Luca, you might as well never come back home. Huh. Thank you. Hmm. You are Wendy, right? Hello. Mr. Tsin. Hello. Hello. Have a seat. <sighs> Mr. Tsin, I'm glad you haven't gone back to Hong Kong. I was so worried you might have left. You don't think I can make those decisions? <laughs> I thought you'd get emotional. <laughs> You're offering shares of Magic Crystal at our house. Are you here to laugh at us? Well, it's God's will if the business succeeds. Only interests last. Emotions don't count. Don't you think so? She's a student of Peng Shui Wu. You can't argue with her. Why don't you tell me why you came to see me? We used to be enemies at Magic Crystal. Is it your idea to sell the shares? Or maybe... It's a consensus among our shareholders. Ah, but tell me, why would I want to purchase your shares? Because we were involved in a lawsuit. I believe our enemies are the ones who know us best. What if we're not interested in Magic Crystal? <laughs> really? Then my visit would be a waste of time. However, I don't think Mr. Chin has the luxury to take some time off and meet up with a girl out of nowhere. I wouldn't call it a waste. I just thought that Magic Crystal is doing very well right now. Why do you suddenly want to sell it? <laughs> Haven't you heard yet? Killen is planning to purchase Magic Crystal shares from Rofis at a very high price. Magic Crystal's value is 200 million. That's why many of us 
would like to divest. Why don't you sell to Killen then? Killen would end up with too many shares. They'll be too powerful. We wouldn't want to keep all our eggs in one basket. <laughs> uh, that's not true at all. Watch and learn. Even if she lied, she managed not to upset me. <sighs> you see, Killen always wanted to get involved hmm. and make Magic Crystal part of their empire and rule the market. The only way we can avoid that is to defuse the shares. Hmm. What if we sell the shares later? Perhaps it will still end up with a kill in any way. <laughs> well, if that's the case, there's nothing we can do. But I believe that after Circom fell, it's unlikely that you'll see Killin ruling the market. <laughs> All girls from the mainland are as clever as you. It's a mistake for us to conduct business here. <sighs> I will leave my card and documents of Magic Crystal here. Once you've decided, please call me. Okay. Dong, see our guest off. Bye for now. Bye. Do you really have to sell Magic Crystal shares? Yes. Mr. Pong, please think about your decision. Back then, you were the one who gave them a chance to live. Because during their critical moments, you were able to save them over and over again. You've made great contributions to its success today. So please, I'm begging you to reconsider it. Well, times are very different now. I help Magic Crystal so that its value will increase. Well, its value has already increased, so why not sell it now? And why would I want to become Lee Buntung's enemy? Do you think I'm insane? As for you, Nalan, let me remind you. I know that you and Washinian are in a relationship. And so, do not let your emotions get the better of you. You should speak to Li Bantung about this. I have already retired. I shouldn't be involved in things like this. If you're really retired, how come you're not living in the mountains? Because we still weren't able to confirm a new chairman of the board. And besides, the issues I had before retirement haven't been fully resolved. <laughs> Mr. Pung was right about you. What about? During the retirement ceremony, he said that if you regret your retirement one day, you won't be able to drink that full basin of water. <laughs> he dared say that? <sighs> he just said it as a joke while he was talking to Mr. Lee. Please don't mind him. Fine. It's just that Rofiz has been in good terms with Killen lately. Of course. We dare not maintain our distance. This great war that started with voice messaging apps ended with your failed investment, Xin Bang's exit, and the full victory of Killin as well. Of course, Ro Fizz would like to stick to the winner. Should we get stuck with the losers? My investment did not fail. You know nothing. Don't believe everything that you hear. <sighs> You're right. I don't understand much. Don't mind me. 
Anyway, I won't take any more of your precious time. I should get going. Goodbye. Hold it. Magic Crystal shares. I'll buy them no matter what. Li Bentong made me invest so much money in that failed R&D center. This is unfinished business before I retired. I'll cooperate. I admit that I do like Guashinian, but that's not the reason why I'm speaking for Magic Crystal. You can sell Magic Crystal shares. By doing so, you'll have easily earned much profit. But if you'll help Magic Crystal through its second financing and third financing, it's most likely that you'll create a business miracle. <laughs> Mr. Pong, this is for the benefit of Rofiz as well. I'm just doing my job. Well, I think that you're doing your job because you're Gua Xinyan's girlfriend now. more faith in Gua Xinyan's talent. I have more faith in money. It's more reliable in humans. Mr. Pong, is there no more room for negotiation? The board has already approved the transfer of Magic Crystal shares to Killin. This conversation with you is over. What did you call me? I called you Peng Shui Wu. You're my supervisor, as well as my mentor in the investment business. So I should regard you as my elder. But right now, I just despise you. You have no loyalty at all. And you have no foresight as well. All you care about is earning more profit. You'll tear Magic Crystal apart. As long as it's profitable, I believe you can forget everything it went through. And sell it. You were given a chance to help Magic Crystal through this difficult time. And turn it into the Apple of China. It's a shame that you can only see profit. And that's why... I'll say this again. Peng Shui Wu, I despise you. wake them up, let them sleep a bit more. I've told Luca so many times, and he might as well not come home and just live here with Guashinian. Who would have thought that someone in charge of a 200 million company would sleep in his office every day? <laughs> this is Zen, guys. The Great Gua Zen. That you just have to eat three meals, sleep in a seven-foot bed, and have just one regular outfit. That's because when you die, Thank you, you will be put in a grave that's even smaller than a pot. All right. Let's get down to business, Wendy. Everyone, the transfer of Magic Crystal shares from Rofus to Killen will take place next Monday. We should carefully plan our next move. Huh? Is Rofus really selling Magic Crystal shares? Li Bentang is tightening his net. When he purchased many shares from Rofis, it was a declaration to the world 
that whoever wants to take a piece will be an enemy of Killen. I visited six or seven investment firms lately, and all of them had rejected me outright. Looks like Li Bentang has really done his homework. You said that Xin Shanbong and Wang Yansheng both intended to purchase our shares, right? So who do you think is more reliable? Well, we can't sell to Xin Shang. He's such a jerk. But Xin Shanbong and Wang Yansheng are the only two people who don't fear Li Bentang. Good morning. Hey. So, are all of you planning to stage a coup behind my back so early in the morning? We're not planning a coup. It's Li Bentang. I already heard the news. From Wendy, that Li Bentang and Rofus are signing the contract to transfer Magic Crystal shares next Monday. We were waiting for you to make a decision. I know that. Na Lan called and told me about it. Why are you afraid? What do you have to be afraid of? We're the major shareholders. We have control over the shares. As long as we complete our financing, Li Bentang's tactics will surely fail. Don't go. I thought we had a meeting. Guo Xinyan, Li Bentang is not your opponent. Money is. It's just too powerful. You can't defeat it. Even with the combined efforts of you and Nalan. We'll see about that. I had no idea that there are places dedicated to archery. This is fun. You know, there are a lot of fun places for you to explore and lots of beautiful scenery for you to see and behold. However fun they are, they have nothing to do with me. I do know that you're a creator, but you need to learn to appreciate the world and not be constantly at war with it. I should sell the shares. Yes. Is there really no hope at all? We've been through so many difficulties. How come you've lost your faith as well? started, Xin Sheng and Luo Wei were your only opponents. But no matter how cunning they both were, you would always end up winning. Because you had innate creativity and business acumen. Later on, you were faced with Xin Shen Bang and the service providers. That time, aside from getting my help, there was Li Bentong. He helped you at once because he considered you a friend. He believed that your technology had a significant impact in exploring mobile networks. In essence, it was what the company needed. But right now, you are on the opposite side of the business. That's why Li Bentang will do whatever he can to destroy you. 
even Sin Chen Bung and the service providers have to give way to the business. You're no exception. have the second financing? <laughs> the clients can spend to delete negative reviews. Just take a look around. When it gets dark, all the best cars that are parked in front of all the best restaurants mostly belong to our staff. Where did they get the money to afford it? In the report that you submitted, you boast of effective supervision. Well, I'll tell you what supervision is. Right now, even toddlers know that we, Cloud, is deeply corrupted. It's true that I've retired, but my brain will never retire. For as long as you don't make changes, I won't even rest for a day. I will keep watching your next move! <sighs> Mr. Wayun, who made you Let's upset? begin! <sighs> Why are you here? Well, I believe you're aware that Li Bintong has purchased Magic Crystal shares of Rofiz. He controls Magic Crystal. Everyone already knows what his intentions are. But we still don't want to give in. We want to tread our own path. We're starting the second financing. We hope to have your support. So, what's the second round of financing for? I'm doing speech and text recognition. What else? I'm also into internet voice calls. In terms of technology, there are three stages. Stage one consists of instant global video calls. So wherever you are, you can see the person you called on video. Stage two is setting up a 3D projection system in your phone to convert video footage to 3D. Just like the phone calls that were shown in Star Wars, when your call is connected, a hologram of the person will appear in front of you. In stage three, we can record an event. For instance, a family dinner. We can send that video to relatives overseas. As soon as they click the video, the actual scene will then be replayed before them. Apart from not being able to touch actual objects, everything else could be transferred online. That means the distance will no longer matter. Mr. Wayun? Mr. Wayan, are you listening? These concepts you mentioned still seem to be light years away from now. I admit you're quite imaginative. It's also likely that this technology can be available. However, we can't be too optimistic. How long will it take to achieve? A few years? Well, even if you can perfect this next month, there's not enough bandwidth in the entire world that could support your project. I think no one will spend so much money to help you achieve a distant dream. Sadly, it's not realistic. That's why you should just sell to Li Bantang. That would be the wisest choice.
Mr. Wyan. I don't want to retire like you, while I'm still at the peak of my youth. I don't practice Tai Chi. I also can't become a deity. So if I can't even achieve anything, I would rather die. Mr. Wyan, he didn't mean to offend you. Based on what you just said, submit your proposal to me as soon as possible. Because I'll invest in you. Rufus is honored to have achieved this wonderful cooperation with Keelan, and so we're quite pleased to transfer the shares of Magic Crystal in our possession to our partner, Keelan. When Magic Crystal just had five people in its team, Rofus realized its value and therefore joined the mobile business. We can surely learn a lot from their insight. <laughs> The transfer of equity is, in fact, a transfer of responsibilities. That's why we're hoping that, with the guidance of Keelan, Magic Crystal will continue to reach for the stars, go further, and fly higher! Did Mr. Lee see you? No, but I'd like to talk to Killen once more, on behalf of the other shareholders. Sure, sure. You're welcome anytime. Such mm -hmm. a small spread. It does look good. I think that our canteen has been doing a better job than this. That's why we needed to purchase their shares, right? <sighs> we don't. Well, this is the first time that I have no appetite at all. <laughs> hey, Mr. Pang. You mean Rufus has always been this stingy? We followed the chairman's call not to waste any food. 
<laughs> and besides, we're one big family, so we shouldn't even try to get drunk. So good luck. <laughs> okay. Let's raise our glasses to fulfill my duties as the host, okay? <laughs> huh. What a nice scene. Whoa. We have a deity joining us. <laughs> Why are you joining us mere plebeians instead of meditating in the mountains? I came down and made this trip to help you evil people who are mesmerized by alcohol and money. <laughs> Greetings, Enough. sir. Quit pretending. But it's no fun without you. Why don't you drink the basin of water and come back? Could you come with me for a moment? Hmm. Excuse me, guys. Sir? Can you step out for a while? We need to discuss okay, something. Okay, sure. Thank you. What are you planning to do? What am I planning to do? Huh? You purchased Magic Crystal shares from Rofiz. Is it to merge Magic Crystal and kill him? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> you worry too much. What does it look like? Magic Crystal's a fine app. Besides, this decision was arrived at by the board. It's not my personal opinion. Cut the crap. I asked the technology side. They have already developed a copycat with complete voice messaging, but they said you rejected it. That surely baffles me. So what are your plans? It can't be that simple. Who told you that? You don't have to know. Not many people know about that. So who told you that? Do you think that I'd tell you? I admit that it is a good app, but maybe it's reached a bottleneck. It will be killed by a bunch of copycats. Others can copy it. I'm sure you can too. That's why I believe that your purchase of Magic Crystal is really just for show. You must have a secret weapon. Yeah. 